Okay, so I'm going to tie a variation of the park shrimp. Uh, this is more supposed for springtime. And this is the posh park. So, we're using a, a partridge Nordic double here. And uh, we're using UTC fire orange thread. So we take that back. And I'm going to use silver oval this time. I'm going to tie a little bit of silver oval on on the top and wrap it rearwards. I'm going to put on about three turns or so of silver tinsel and come up between the legs of the double and tie that off on top. Now, this like the original park is a three component tail so I'm going to use a bit of hot orange arctic runner here and cut out a bunch and as before remove the yard hairs and throw those away and then split my bunch into two now measure it up to be at least the length or so of the body and we're going to tie that in as before forward of the actual final tie in point next we're going to use uh, this is a arctic runner again but it's dyed in a chartreuse so I'm going to take a bunch of that and then I'm going to remove the majority of the shorter fibres from that and this is going to form the central portion the tail and just thin down to what I want. So I'm going to tie that in on top of my orange bunch. And then I'm going to take a bit of mirage crinkle, the length of the tail, tie it in on top fold the other end of it back, wrap backwards a few turns and cut that off for length. Now my other little orange bunch I'm going to measure up for length with the original one. As you can see the tie-in point of this is slightly backwards of the tie-in points of those others because I'm trying to create, or sorry, trying to avoid a lump as such. Now I'm going to take all these, lift them up and cut in an angle like that and that should leave me with a nice even taper on the cut ends and that should lead to less bumps and lumps on the body. So now I take a little bit of super glue and I attach it, just stick it into the, the cut ends of my tail material. back to my silver portion and then forwards over all those cut ends to create a nice even base for my body. As on the original I'm going to come up to the front here and tie in a portion of Mirage tinsel and then wrap rearwards as far as I went before. And for the body I'm going to use uh, just like a truce coloured uh, light braid. I take some of that out and I dub it on. Sometimes you need to catch a few fibres just to get it to spin up a nice tight rope. Wrap about two thirds, three quarters of the body with that and rip off the spare. A couple of turns and just tidy that up at the rear. Now, for 
the front portion of this I want to use as before a little bit of black dubbing I'm just going to use the fox that I'm going to use for the wing and dub on the front portion of the body using black fox and then we take this long end the Mirage tinsel and rib the body in about four to five even turns of that. Finish it off on top one or two turns, flip all both those portions back and tie across them and they will create the tinsel portion of the wing. I'm going to cut that off roughly back to the uh, to the orange portion of the tail. So now I want to put on a wing, so again I'm going to use, uh, this is a, a black fox mask, cut a portion out of that, and then I'm going to remove the shortest of the under fibers, and then I'm going to measure this up for length again. Somewhere back into the orange portion, maybe not the full length of it. Swap hands and trim that off. And I take my dubbing needle and I put a little bit of super glue just onto the butt end of that. I fly it up for length and before it dries, I'm going to wrap that on. hackles on this one as before, only this time I'm going to use a fluorescent chartreuse yellow soft hackle. Strip off the excess of it, grab it by the tip, grab it by the base of the feather as well and as I push a loop into it I then use my finger and thumb of the other hand to stroke all the fibres one side and thereby doubling it. Then at the last point I'm going to nip out the tip, take a few fibres and wrap in on the very tip of the stalk. One turn, fold it back, and a couple of turns of wax thread to hold it in place. So now we take our hackle pliers and we wrap that chartreuse hackle fold its stock back on itself in a couple of turns just to keep it in place snip that off because the hen hackle is quite webby so you might just need to brush it out to make it look better. And now we're going to take a hot orange dyed jungle cock. We're going to take out one with the appropriate curve for my side. Put a turn on to keep it in place, then go to the opposite side of the cape and do the same. I'm going to apply that up to that side and then using the waist ends of it, just pull those in until I get them the same length. And then once I've got them the same length, I'm going to put on a little bit of super glue onto my tie and thread and I'm going to take those couple of turns backwards and that will keep those in place and I snip off 
those waist stands. The front tackle on this one, as in the original, is also an orange badger tackle. I'm going to take one of those, strip off the unwanted portion, and double that tackle as well as before. the end. And I'm going to add a little glue to that. few turns of that badger heckle just to finish the fly. Super clean. Coat my thread for a few inches in the glue. And then use that to make a nice neat Take the glue and just use it like a varnish. And all the way around with the needle, just a little bit at a time. You don't want it to soak backwards into your hackles or anything like that. variation of the park shrimp. The posh park shrimp and I'll just have one little spare fiber there. Thank you for doing that. There you go. 